Hi folks, Nathan here. Welcome back to my channel and just a quick video for you. I just thought, um, I don't know whether or not to add this into Get to Know Me or not, but uh, if you've seen that you'll know that I'm uh, very much into aircraft and I thought I'd do a quick video showing you all of my, uh, all my aircraft collection today. Well, today. Uh, these are aircraft I've collected over the years. So let's get cracking then. So we'll start from the top and work our way down. Sorry about uh, messenger. So starting from the top corner, then you can see we've got our um, Virgin Atlantic. That's a Boeing 747-400 series. That's in the red and white livery. Virgin Atlantic have two, well they, they did rather have two or they did have two liveries. Uh, red and white or red and silver. I'm not sure whether they still do the silver. Might be, might be uh, good for me to get another Virgin Atlantic actually. So I've got one of each. One in white and one in silver. I'm de debating whether or not to do that. Moving along then, uh, this aircraft is hopefully going to be replaced soon. Uh, this is my Thompson. Thompson UK Boeing 737-8NG. Obviously Thompson are now known as TUI and the aircraft have TUI written on them. And obviously, you know, when airlines change and update their liveries, I, try and lo I like to try and update my models. So I would like to get an aircraft with TUI written on it. <clears throat> Moving on from that we have the Thomas Cook Airlines UK Airbus A330-300 or 200. I think it's a 300. This is the new Sunshine Heart livery which is the newest livery for Thomas Cook. Um, Personally, I, I'm not very keen on it. I prefer the old livery, uh, which I'll show you an example of in a moment when we pan down. So let's get on to the front then. Here we have my British Airways Airbus A380-800. Next to that we have the newest type of aircraft, this is the Airbus A320neo or new engine option and this is in EasyJet's new livery. And next to that, oh you will notice as well that uh, Airbus aircraft are fitted with sharklets now as opposed to the uh, arrow designed winglets that all Airbus aircraft were fitted with including the A380 but the newer versions are fitted with sharklets next to that then we have pro probably my favorite aircraft out of them all and it's certainly the newest I got this I treated myself to this for Christmas when I went to Benidorm this is the jet2.com Boeing 737 NG, 800NG, which means ne next generation or new generation. This is a much more streamlined version. Again, fitted with new design sharklets. So that's it for the top row. So we'll move down to inside. And we'll start from back to front. So here's another Thomas Cook. This is an Airbus A330-200. Or 300. I'm not sure exactly which version that Thomas Cook use. It's rather the 200 or the 300 series. And this is in the very old retro livery. In fact, I'll just get it out for, I'll just get it out for you. And we'll have a close look at this one. There we go then. Much smaller than the old one. And this is the the very old livery. It's got Thomas Cook written there in the in the circle. Now this was Thomas Cook's 
previous livery. See these are also fitted with winglets as well. The Airbus A330 and A340 are the only ones to have these uh, design of winglet on them. Very nice. It, just, it even says it there. Can't really make it out, but it says Airbus A330. Now, yeah, going back to the the one on top, the big Thomas Cook, if we uh, put them side by side. So you can see the, bit, the new livery of Thomas Cook there. And then obviously here is the older one. There you go. Now, when this livery was first introduced, the Sunny Heart livery that is, it's on the, uh, the bigger version there, uh, the aircraft were still all this colour, but what they did is they actually implemented the heart onto the tail. And I just thought it went really nice with this colour. Like the yellow Sunny Heart just looked really, really nice against this blue background. And I was hoping that they were just going to change the logo to the Sunshine Heart. But um, now they've, they've changed the livery completely. And I don't really like it in all honesty. In case you're wondering, have I travelled on a newer type? Yes, I have. I'll leave this door open so we can see in there. Next to it then, RIP, Monarch, or Monarch, Monarch, it's a Monarch Airbus A321 in the uh, retro Monarch livery, well not so much retro, um, it was the newer Monarch livery and then just before they ceased operation sadly in 2017 the aircraft were painted with the whole of the back, the rear of the aircraft and the tail was yellow. And it was something that I called the yellow tail design. I don't know whether that, that's what they were called, but uh, that's what I called them. Moving to the front, then we have another 737NG. This is in the Ryanair livery. And moving on, we have a Thomas Cook. Airbus A32B uh, A321 or A32B which sometimes they're labelled as uh, in the Sunny Heart livery again fitted with winglets that one slightly broken that happened in uh, transit slightly damaged in transit again if I just take this one out quickly and you can see from this side there is the full sharklet. So it looks like a shark's fin. That's probably what they call it, sharklet. And this more street, sleek, streamlined version of the winglet is supposed to uh, decrease wingtip vortices a lot more. And it helps them get through the air quicker. Not a, not a bad, a bad um, livery actually. In fact, there is, a, there is a separate video on this aircraft. Um, look in my unboxing videos playlist. You'll actually see I did an unboxing of that, of that aircraft. And then there's a couple of these little ones. So you've got a 747-400 there, Northwest. I uh, don't know what these are, Avro J75 or something like that. Uh, what I call whisper jets in the Dan Air livery, and you got an old TriStar DC-10 at the back there in the old British Airways livery. So that's for the top shelf. Moving to the second one down then. It's like the home of British Airways down here, isn't it? Goodness. Except for the one. So we'll start at the back and work our way to the front. We've got the Airbus A320 there. Air Tours, very old airline, uh, that's got quite a history to it. Air they started as Air Tours, then they merged into My Travel, and then Thomas Cook brought My Travel out. 
Uh, sorry. Um, yes, I did, yes. I'm thinking of uh, JMC, but no, they didn't become part of JMC. They were, they were their own aircraft, and Thomas Cook brought them out as well. Next to it then, British Airways, Boeing 747-400. This is, a, this is a, uh, quite a nice one actually, very nice, uh, nicely detailed. And then we've got the British Airways Airbus A319 or minibus, baby bus, minibus, some, some people call them. Because they're the smallest, they're now the smallest out of the A3, A3 fleet. Uh, the smallest ever Airbus that was made, or well, the shortest and smallest, was in fact the A38, which was a, a version of this, but was very, very short. And that was given the name of Baby Bus. So, this current day, I, I'm not sure whether there's any Airbus A318s still in operation. Uh, but as far as I'm aware, the Airbus A319, which is this one, uh, is the smallest out of them. And that's been given the name Minibus. Moving across then, we've got another British Airways, this is a Boeing 757-200. Very fortunate to have this as the 757 is now becoming an aging workhorse and uh, they're slowly being phased out. Very nice, the colour's going a little bit on this one now. I don't think the camera can pick it up but uh, yeah, it is losing its colour slightly. But I have had them for years. And then on this one we've got uh, two Concords. We've got the Air France Concorde there. In the middle we've got a Scandinavian Airways McDonnell Douglas MD-80. And then the old British Airways Concorde at the back. So that's it for shelf number two. Moving down to shelf number three then. Got a few here. Let's see, so we have got another Boeing 737 Classic here. This is the, my first example of a 737 Classic for you. Uh, this is in the Fly Tunisia colours. Now I got this years ago because um, I um, went to Tunisia a, a couple of times for a holiday. And I don't. I just liked. I liked the flag, and I saw this on eBay, and I said to me dad, I said, "Can you order me that?" I said, "Because you know we've been to Tunisia, so and I just like the look of it." So yeah, there we go. Fly Tunisia. Next to it, Transavia.com. Boeing 737-800 again classic version but this one is fitted with winglets it's not my favorite model the wings are a bit droopy on it um, I might, might think I'm thinking about gluing that maybe I'll save the better one for last here here we go down with Britannia classic Britannia Boeing 737-800 there weren't many versions of this because Britannia turned to Thompson so Britannia started out I think again there's a separate video for this if you if you go into um, unboxing videos my unboxing videos playlist there is actually an unboxing video of this and I'll talk a little bit about it but I'll just remind you again so they started out as Euravia and then the airline changed its name after the Bristol Britannia which was a, a, a model of aircraft that they actually had operated um, before changing their name though they did they did also operate as Orion then they changed their name to Britannia Airways 
and were owned by Thompson Travel Company. Then they changed their name to Thompson. They were Thompson. And it was Thompson Fly. And now they're known as Tui today. And you might be able to tell if we pan across, we've got another Thompson. This is the Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner. It's quite a big model. Again, this, I'm going to hopefully try and replace this because, uh, as I mentioned, they're now Tui, and I want some aircraft with Tui written on them rather than Thompson. So eventually this is going to get replaced as well. But I'm not going to get rid of them. I might give them away or I might just keep them. I might just put them in my memory box and just, just keep them. A couple more little ones there then. We've got, uh, I don't know what that middle one is. Let me just quickly turn it. Turn it round, the middle one. So you've got Olympic Airlines over, over there, 747-200. I don't know what airline that is in the middle. 747-200 and then you've got this. I think this is rather, looks to me like a Boeing, I think it's a Boeing 767. Air Canada, very old livery. And then moving down to the final the final shelf. It's a bit like the home of Jet 2 down here. I've got quite a few Jet 2s. So at the back, I've got the Jet 2 Holidays liveried 757. Not my favourite at all. In fact, I'll just quickly get it out and show you without knocking the Emirates. <clears throat> just look at it really badly painted but the windows for a start the windows are far too low far too close to the wing it's, you know it's not realistic at all the you know the the logo the writing's all wonky this is far too big and it's the wrong color that should be red package holidays you can trust don't get me wrong the back of it's quite nice the design there what like that and they've got the colour scheme and everything spot on but, I mean look at that look how low them windows are and again look it's overlapping the windows eh? and the cockpit windows are too high up there Yeah, not my favourite model this one, but I've kept it because obviously, you know, I wanted one of each. I'm just going to shove that down back in there. Next to that we've got the Jet2.com liveried Boeing 757-200. Jet2 Holidays, Boeing 737 Classic, 800. Get it out quickly and show you. This one's fitted with winglets. And again, it's uh, not quite as detailed as my other Jet 2 737 800. Uh, these are the older versions of the models. But yeah, it's very, very accurate. Wings a bit bent, but that's probably because uh, I haven't got much room there under the Emirates. But that's all right. <laughs> I ain't going to take the Emirates. So I'm going to leave the Emirates where it is. We'll get on to the Emirates now. Then there it is. Look, the Emirates Airbus A380. 
800. And finally, I'm going to get this one out. Again, this is a novelty. It's a Jet2.com Boeing 737-300. Very small, friendly low fares. Yeah, I was very for very fortunate to get this. My uh, mom and dad brought me this a few years ago when they went to Greece. My dad said, because uh, it was the first time going with Jet 2, they said, do you want a model? And I went, yes, I do, actually. I said, "There's a seven, I know they've got a 737-300 I like the look of. So they they, uh, they went half each and bought it. It was only £8.50, so they must have went half. And they bought it for me. Again, these are being phased out because they're, uh, they're years old now, the 300s. So, I've got one, thank goodness, and uh, I'd never get rid of it. It's going to be part of my collection forever, that is. And then, let's have a look down here. I've got a couple more of these plasticky ones. We've got like another Whisper Jet over there, which is in the old Thai Airlines livery. Boeing 747-400 here in the old British Airways. And then, I don't know what this one is. I think it might be Lufthansa. Yeah, you can just see it back there. There's a Lufthansa 747-400. So that concludes it for the, uh, the cabinet. So we'll just close that back up, keep them all nice and fresh. And we'll move along here now. Now you can see I've actually got a couple more. And the first one I've got is another Jet 2 Holidays 737. Uh, this one I removed the winglets uh, because I've seen that there are some Jet 2s out there who do, well, do have winglets and some that don't. So I thought, well, I'll get myself two models and I'll take the winglets off one of them. Uh, but then I didn't really like it, so sorry. No, I bought that one. I bought this one, took the winglets off, but then realised I didn't like it. So when I went to Benny Dawn for Christmas, as well as buying that other jet too, I bought this one as well and kept the winglets on it. So this one I'm actually uh, giving away. Um, one of my friends has got a younger brother who really likes planes, uh, but unfortunately, obviously, they can't afford to. Uh, get him any or or maybe he's not interested in collecting them I don't know but I know he likes trains and planes so I said to my friend I said well I've got two models that I'm getting rid of that you can have so I'm gonna give him that one as well as that one next to it which is a, an old Ryanair 737 And then obviously over there, that, that's not really, I wouldn't class that as a model, it's more of a, a toy really, but um, I keep it, I've preserved it. Uh, this I actually had this when I was a kid, my granddad bought me this uh, when he went on holiday somewhere. And um, luckily enough I, I didn't break it, I managed to keep it, so there we go. So I'm going to keep that one, and then we've got two little planes here that one of my friend, uh, Chris Astley, shout out, he gave me these. I did have an Emirates as well, he gave me an Emirates one, but uh, because I'd already had an, got an Emirates, you know, I've got my uh, big Emirates there, I, uh, I gave that one away to a, 
another friend who is an aircraft enthusiast. Um, so I've kept these two. So you got the KLM Royal Dutch Airlines Boeing 747-400 over there and the Qantas Airbus A380-800 there. So yeah, quite quite a little collection. It looks like an airport, doesn't it? Look at that. That's what I, that's what I've made it made it out to look like. So you know, it safes the terminal building, and uh, yeah, it's made it look like an airport. So there you go. That was my model aircraft collection. I hope you've enjoyed. And don't forget to check out my channel for lots more videos, reviews, unboxing, and videos, a few songs, all kinds. See you soon.